Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review and today I have the DJI 100 watt USB-C power adapter. This product is designed to allow you to quickly charge your drone batteries, your controller, your tablet, your phone, pretty much anything that you can charge through a USB connection. Now before I get too deep into what this product provides, I always like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you all the things that are buried in the package so that way you know exactly what you get if you decide this product's right for you. And then I'll talk a little bit more about the specifications for the product because it says 100 watts, but that's kind of an interesting number because there are two ports on here, so I'm immediately wondering, is that 100 watts per port or 100 watts between both ports? And we'll get into that in a minute, but let's get started with the unboxing. So when you first pop open the box, you'll find the actual power adapter. Now what's interesting about this is a lot of these power adapters have a set of AC prongs that pop out from the side. And I think DJI included a cord because this is a universal power adapter, which means it works on 50 hertz, 60 hertz. It works on 120 volts, 240 volts. So if you're in the US, you're gonna get a US cord. If you're in Europe, you'll get a cord that'll match your outlets over there. So it's kind of a, a universal charger in a lot of ways where they can manufacture the power adapter and then just package it with different cords for different regions. Also included with the kit, you'll find a high capacity USB-C to USB-C. Now, the important thing to note here is that a standard USB-C cable will only conduct about 35 watts of power. So if you've got an older USB-C to USB-C, it may not actually provide enough power to charge your battery. So I think it's great that DJI included this one. And we're gonna do some testing to see exactly how that works out. You'll also find a full instruction manual that explains how to use the unit. It's pretty straightforward. You'll basically use this cable, plug it into the side of the power adapter, plug it into a wall outlet, and then on the other end of the unit, you'll find two USB-C ports right there. And you can use this cable to charge your batteries, your drone, your tablet, your phone, whatever you want to charge off of it, or you can use your own cable as well. Now let's talk a little bit about the power because that's one thing you should be aware of. If you're trying to charge larger batteries, like maybe the Avada or the Mavic 3 or some of the larger controllers, they require what's called a PD power supply, which is power delivery, because they're smart products. This is a smart charger. And the minute you connect it up to one of those products, it'll do an interrogation of that product. This will interrogate that product to see what kind of voltage and current it needs based on its current charge level, and it'll adjust its voltage and current to quickly charge it. Now, what's interesting about this, though, is that it's claimed to be 100 watts, but that's 100 watts max for both ports. Individually, these ports will deliver 82 watts of power. Now that's an interesting number because we've done a lot of testing with the larger batteries for the Mavic 3 and the Avada and a few other products. And the most amount of power that those products will take is exactly 82 watts. So this is perfect for charging those products. But the reason it's called a 100 watt charger is because you might use the 65 watt charging for other products that can only take 65 watts and you can use both of the ports at the same time. So one of them will be a 65 watt output, the other one can be up to a 35 watt output. If you're charging something with 82 watts, you still have 18 watts on the other side that you can use to charge your phone, your tablet, or whatever. Just be aware of the fact that if you've got larger batteries like the Avada or the Mavic 3s or some of the newer drones that are coming out with really large batteries, I would only suggest you use one of those two ports. Typically, I'm using the top port right there, C1, and that'll give you the most power out of the unit. The minute you plug something into that second port, the charger automatically balances the output between those two ports. It'll reduce that C1 port, so you're not gonna get a full 82 watts out of that port. Just something to be aware of. But I like the unit. I think it's really handy. It's small, as small as it can be actually, for a charger that's this powerful. You can take it with you anywhere. I actually like the fact that the cord is included because that way I can have it off my desk and I can plug it in. And I've got two cords, this one and this one, that give me a nice long reach from that wall outlet. So something to consider. I mean, there are chargers on the market that'll produce 140 watts, which are the newer style of USB-Cs. But this is great, it charges the products. And again, it's made by DJI, which is the company that built your drone, built your controller, and built all the other things you're trying to charge. And that's really all I had today. It's a very simple product to use. Plug it in, connect up your device, and just start charging. So thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.